All right, guys, welcome back to day 25. Uh, in this video, we are going to be fixing up this uh, status bar at the bottom, and we are going to be fixing up the total length and the current time of the music being played. So you must have tested out what is the error in the status bar. So the status bar is actually not showing us the correct file name. Uh, I'm not going to show you what kind of uh, file name it's giving because it's, it's not, it doesn't really matter. You should just like try it out if you want to. But the problem and the mistake over here that we have done is that it's still file underscore file name underscore path. Instead of that, we have to put in uh, display underscore it. So we are just going to remove this file name underscore path. And this is going to give us the correct uh, file name in the status bar. Uh, it was just the matter of replacing the file path name, file name underscore path with our uh, play underscore it variable. Uh, all right, so now that we have fixed our status bar, the second thing we are gonna fix is this uh, total length. So right now, if you add different videos, uh, not videos, just audios. So let me just add two audios quickly. All right. So let me just uh, play these uh, both of these files and you just notice the total length that is over here. Don't uh, actually I haven't removed this show underscore details so it's not going to show up. Uh, damn it this is wasting time but it's fine because we have a lot of time. So let me just add both of them quickly again. All right. So now just notice the total underscore length. Don't notice the current time. Actually, you can notice the current time also. It doesn't really matter. But for now, just focus more on total length. You will see that on both of these audios, the total length doesn't even change. And the current time is just like showing up random numbers. And uh, just notice, maybe try to notice the pattern of current time. Uh, what kind of pattern it has. So it's going to start from zero, then it's going to go to five, then it's going to maybe go to two and stuff like that. Just try to notice the total length that it doesn't change. And the current time is a little bit more sporadic and it kind of changes all the time. So let's play both of these files. As you can see total length didn't change and the current time uh, went to 001 and then suddenly to 006 and stuff like that. So first we are going to fix up the total length because that is going to be really really easy. So what is making us uh, what is making this total length actually stay constant. So if we go up to our show details area you can see the variable that is responsible for showing up the total length is over here. Uh, is we are doing the total length over here basically, but uh, because all of these things are connected, so that's why we have to change this file under file name underscore path uh, to play it like we did in this uh, status bar below. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna inside the show details function we are gonna write play it. So we are going to send this uh, argument to the show underscore details function, and then we can go up to show underscore details, and instead of uh, and here we can just write play underscore song and we're just going to copy this from here, paste this over here, paste this over here and paste this over here. So now what will happen is the file that we select in our playlist. So for example, if you have selected piano.mp3, this piano.mp3 will be sent to this show underscore details function and is going to get the data of the show underscore of the of basically the play song or the play it variable and then it depending on whether it's an mp3 or a WAV file is going to get the length of uh, the file. So let's actually try it out and see if it works. Let's reload it. Uh, this is like the worst part like of testing because I have to show it to you guys. So I have to load both of these files again and again and it just like wastes a little bit of our time. It's a little bit irritating but it's okay. So now I'm going to play uh, this piano and make sure you notice the total uh, length is going to change this time, hopefully. So let's see if it works. All right, so our uh, total length is working. And if you had noticed, our status bar is also working. Basically, both of these status bar and the total length required the same uh, kind of a formula we both had to in both of them we had to change from file name underscore path to play underscore it uh, because we wanted the file that is selected in our uh, list to be played 
and not the not the file that we selected at the last when we press this uh, plus add button. So last thing we are gonna make sure that we uh, rectify is the current time. So current time is actually what is happening inside the current time is imagine we played our first music. So we clicked, we just started our music player and we selected piano.mp3 and when we pressed on the play button is going to work perfectly. The current time is going to work perfectly. But when we select on another one and then we press the play button again without pressing the stop button, what it does is it starts another thread. So if we scroll up at the top where we created the threads, uh, where did I create the thread? Maybe a little bit more up. Okay, I'm forgetting where I created the thread. If you guys remember, tell me. Mm, all right, <laughs> it was just in the show details function. But anyways, over here we have created this thread. So when you press uh, this piano.mp3, let's imagine that the music player has just started and we press this piano.mp3 and we press this play button, it creates a thread and then we press stop. So because of this, uh, because of this mixer.music get busy function, this thread quits and uh, basically this thread gets destroyed. But what if we don't press the stop button when we want to switch to another music? So if we are playing piano.mp3 and we press on the play button, and without pressing the stop, we want to just go to directly journey.wave and then just want to play it directly without pressing the stop button. What it does is that it instead of quitting this thread, it just creates another thread. So there is this T1 and then another T1 thread is created. That's why you, if you notice it properly, you'll see it goes from 000 and then 006. So it kind of is, uh, is it's showing the current time of both piano.mp3 and journey.wave at the same time. That's why this current time is a little bit sporadic. And the more you click on the like play button again and again, more sporadic it will become because it's showing the current time of, of both piano.mp3 and journey.wave at the same time. So what we need to do is when we move from piano.mp3 to journey.wave, we need to stop the music first and make sure that uh, our software sleeps for one second. So we'll just go to this try condition and let me just minimize that. And, and, and just under this try condition, we're just gonna write stop music and then we are gonna write time dot sleep one second. So what this will do is when we switch to another song, before switching to another song is going to first stop the music and then it's going to make sure that a music player has a buffer time of one second to switch the music. Why is it one second? Because in our threading, we have declared as uh, the time is one second. So the next iteration of this loop before it stops the music and this get underscore busy returns the false, uh, returns the false value, the difference between that one iteration is one second. That is why we have to give in our play underscore music a buffer time of one second. So now if we just reload our uh, music player, we'll be able to see that everything is working perfectly. So let's open both of them up, piano dot run. And now I'm just gonna play the files and I just wanted to like look, look at it and enjoy your music player. So I'm just gonna run this piano dot mp3. So now you see without even pressing the stop button, we can switch from one music to another music. And uh, yeah, and when you press on this play button, you would notice that the whole window freezes for one second. That is because of this statement, this time dot sleep for one second. Uh, so guys, this is pretty much it for this video. We have pretty much completed this plus add button. In the next video, we learn how to delete these items from the from our playlist. So I'll see you on day 26. Peace out.